basically whenever I came back to old school RuneScape my goal was to get the Questscape and now I've actually got the Questscape and then after that of course Vorkath the new boss came out that's actually what this tab is I just sold all the loot from that 100 kills had gotten me like 14 mil something like that almost 15 mil uh, after supplies really not too much I thought I'd go through and just show a bank video and kind of talk about some of the stuff in there obviously the Vorkath heads uh, I used one of them for the Ava's assembler um, the rest of this teleports obviously teleport to houses extremely extremely useful especially when you reach level 83 construction due to the rejuvenation pool and jewelry box extremely useful for corporal beast and um, you know just doing things with your clan or PVMing whatever extremely helpful so 83 construction that was another goal that I ended up getting after I joined my clan and started doing a lot more bossing and man it is super helpful it cost me around 25 mil altogether totally worth it in the long run my bank is now down to around 200 mil i will say that 100 mil was given to me by a friend a good friend of mine who ended up quitting if he ever comes back i will definitely be giving that money back to him but right now i don't think he's returning but if he does he can have his 100 mil back and that would leave me with around 100 mil as well so so right now i have a obviously just your regular teleports. If you're wondering about the bananas, that's because for Apatol teleport, you do need bananas. Uh, the Royal Seed Pod is awesome. Unlimited teleports to the Grand Tree, extremely helpful for farming. If you didn't know, right next to the balloon and in between the agility course, there is a fruit tree patch. And then over near Niev's Slayer Cave, or Steve, depending on if you've done the quest or not, there is a regular tree patch as well. Uh, this is my farming tab, obviously. Another goal I had was to get full graceful, which I did. And then I went ahead and got it recolored to the Brimhaven course, which I really enjoy doing. Brimhaven agility course is a lot of fun. This is my potions tab, and right now it's actually a little bit disorganized. I have it set up right now for Vorkath, so that's why it looks like that. Herb lore, obviously, and all the supplies you need. This is my skilling tab, and I'm probably going to redo my whole bank, honestly. it's I've had it the same for a long time, and I'm kind of feeling like cleaning up. I never got rid of anything because during questing, it was just so useful to have all this stuff in here. And I already got rid of a lot in my questing tab. These are all items that I feel like maybe quest in the future. I may need these again, and that's why I'm holding on to them. But yeah, just regular stuff in here. You definitely want to make sure you get this from Motherwood Mine. The Prospector outfit uh, gives 2.5% bonus whenever you're doing mining. So I got to 84 mining. That was a goal. Another goal of mine was to be able to mine Rune Ore. And um, I finally did that, and it actually came in a really handy after Dragon Slayer 2 because no one had really done the quest yet and I did it on the first day or so that it came out and there's two runors down there and I made a good two mil an hour or so specking them out with the dragon pick and using Dorvin stouts those give a temporary boost of one level or two levels that plus the dragon pickaxe is uh, three levels I ran out on that just take a Dorvin stout which is really cheap was able to mine a lot of runor so that was fun something different uh, saving up all these golden nuggets you know you can buy i've already got the gym bag and the coal bag so the only thing left to buy now is uh gems and there is a chance to get an onyx so that would be really awesome if i could get that i'm gonna save those up for a while see maybe in the future what we get i'm holding this dragon hunter crossbow right now not for vorkath i actually prefer the blowpipe uh for vorkath i don't know why i get faster kills whenever i use the blowpipe i i really don't understand it which leads me to the next thing i'm going to switch over to obviously i got the ava's assembler but Another goal of mine was to get Elite Void, which took a very long time. It has very high requirements for the diaries, and then thank goodness I already had the quest cape done, because that made it go faster than it would have, but man, um, getting the thieving grind, the other requirements, it just takes so long. Thieving and Hunter, not really a fan of those, since I just like the PVM, which is funny, because I used to like the skill, and now uh, the past year or so that I've been in my clan, I really enjoyed PVMing from my friend that actually gave me the 100 mil got me into pvming really started really getting into the game from there i really enjoyed it a lot more um obviously the quest cape that was my biggest accomplishment really glad i was able to get that mythical cape uh, legends cape all these arty cloak that's from um, doing the western elites or sorry the banner yeah all my achievement diary stuff cram digit globes 3 are really helpful teleports you to brimhaven or i'm sorry uh teleports you to shallow village in the gem mine, which there is a ton of gems, it's crazy. I got my archer's ring imbued. That's super helpful, f helpful for Vorkath, along with the elite void set, of course. Um, obviously, I just have placeholders for all this stuff. We have the new prop sword, which should be the most OP sword in the game. If you're doing Vorkath, the salve amulet EI is definitely a necessary item to have. Otherwise, your kills may take a bit longer. Gaishian boots, just another. Vorkath item. I, j I really enjoy killing Vorkath. It's such a good boss. I love the mechanics of it. I love everything about it. It's a lot of fun. 
Even though I don't get the fastest kills, my fastest is 147. I haven't been able to do that again. Usually I take between two and three minutes. Maybe if I can figure out how to do the Dragon Hunter crossbow the proper way, I'd um, actually get some fast kills. But I just now have learned to kind of wooks walk, but I still don't do it every time. Just especially if you have slow internet, you may as well hang it up. Uh, back to the armor tab again. Just some Castle Wars armor. I, I love Castle Wars. I don't know why. It's something I play whenever I get bored. Even though I... I don't have that many tickets i might have like 85 or so uh, i still think it's a lot of fun uh, obviously just some regular armor sets that i've had spirit shields um, if you didn't know the spectral spirit shield is my favorite shield in the game someday i hope to add an ellie to this uh, tab here at least as a placeholder uh, black slayer helmet i've had that for a long time i really would like to change it to the cal fight one that's my that's definitely one of my future goals i just been the cal fight a couple times it's just it's a really difficult boss and the loot is not great. This tab is kind of like my Slayer tab and food tab. Although whenever I'm doing stuff like Warcath, it's just faster too. Your potion's in line with your food. I do have my... I need to go do the coffers at um, Miscellanea. If you haven't done coffers there where you fill them up with cash and basically your um, people will get you money. I, I haven't been there in months. I always fill it up, but I haven't actually collected it in a long time. Uh, that thing makes you decent decent cash, and if you're doing herb boards, super useful. So... My next goal really is just to get my stats up. I would, I w my ultimate goal is to become max combat. And then if I get extremely bored, go for like a max account for the max cape. But right now I'm 107 combat. I'm really hoping to get to 126. Um, obviously I think everyone wants to do that, but uh, prayer is just so expensive. It, I don't know how much I've spent. I mean, it doesn't feel like that much because honestly, in most of my prayer, I, I've maybe spent five mil on prayer. The rest of it I've gotten just from all the bones I've collected I've used for prayer. So 75 is a nice comfortable level. Also I unlocked the um, prayer preserve which helps a lot whenever I'm running to Vorkath. I usually turn that on to keep my stats up. Someday I want to buy rigor. It's just so expensive. I think right now it's like 60 to 80 mil. Not really looking to spend the cash for that although I'm sure my kills would definitely increase in speed if I had that unlocked. Very close to 91 range, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing next is some Nightmare Zone. Grind that out a little. Need to get this attack and defense to 85 as well, and that's just one more thing to help at Vorkath um, as far as specking him out, and then uh, having the defense level is obviously useful. And then once once I'm closer to max on my stats, I definitely want to get all my achievement diaries done because that right there, you pretty much have to be maxed to complete all the achievement diaries. So that's going to be it for this video. I don't know if this is interesting or not. I've never done one like this before, but I just wanted to share um, how far I've came since I started playing. And I really have gotten into the game. I haven't played in about a week or so, so I figured I'd get back on and make a progress video someone had suggested that so if you liked it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye